Hello, my lovely chats of the internet. It is I, Multi126789, and welcome back to Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. This time, we are going back to World 2 and finishing the secret chapter that I meant to do probably about 10 to 12 parts ago. But we're here finally, and we're doing it. <laughs> time to defeat all the enemies, right? So let's not worry about the past and focus on the present. Let's go ahead and fight. And before we get started, and if you're wondering why we're doing uh, post-commentary mode, because you probably could tell, because it's not 100% me focusing on what we're supposed to be doing. I originally recorded this part, the, actually the, the next three parts you'll see. I actually recorded them, and of course as luck, luck would have it, and life would have it. Oh, sorry, we have a bunch of corrupted uh, data files of these recordings, so you're gonna have to redo all that stuff again. Hope you don't mind, sir. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's lovely, yes, hmm, yes, quite lovely. But at least this means that you will only have three videos of act the actual content that I'm doing, instead of them all being, you know, four videos because they were longer because I had to take minute steps in thinking about everything again. Sure, it's not super authentic to the experience, but hey, the thing that you guys probably care about the most is that we're going to get through this game, and we're going to probably beat it by the end of April, if not earlier, because at this point in the game, I'm s where this section of videos will end off, we'll be ending off at, I think, 4-3? So I only have, like, perhaps, like, maybe four more chapters to go through five maybe so we'll see i think i would think the last chapter is only probably like seven long to be honest just because of how it is but you know i don't know for sure because i haven't played that far yet i was actually i was actually gonna plan on uh What's the word? I was actually going to plan on recording some today, uh, on March the, I think, 13th? Yeah, 13th. I was planning on doing that today, but instead I'm recording, so here we go! <laughs> also, I've been doing my due diligence and while well, having to redo these recording, or re-recording and editing and rendering all of my videos that got corrupted. Um, I also did some, uh, grinding off screen, which I can't wait to show you guys that because it took a lot of time and effort, but I grinded up some things so I can make sure I can breathe for the rest of the game without having to stop too much. And for like most of these maps, since we're over leveled, there's not much to commentate on, but I still thought it would be appropriate to tell you guys what's up and what's going down in the videos and why there's it's not real commentary and it's all this jumbled up uh, nonsense. And I don't know why my laptop for recording has been acting up lately. I honestly don't, and it's being making me a little bit upset and questioning myself. <laughs> because I at least... Because, okay, so first off, if you don't know, hey, welcome. Uh, if this is your first video ever, and uh, you don't know what's going on with uh, Multi's personal life, but nobody really cares anyways, so I usually don't bring it up for that reason. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say is that... Also, that was very unfortunate that he went the other way, but luckily Mario was able to shoot him. But then Rabbit... <laughs> then Rabbit Mario got shot, so then it was not as good. So, but we killed the mini boss in one go, so that was good. But yeah, anyways, I was getting distracted. For those who don't know, I'm currently in college, and uh, probably when the, by the time you see this, I'll be getting ready to head out to my five-week placement, which means I'm going to be gone for five weeks. And if not that, that means I'm just going to be taking, not a huge hiatus, but it's going to be a little bit slower on the video side. And I'm hoping to get Xenoblade and, uh, my and Rabbits finished before the summer, because, uh, at least for, uh, Mario and Rabbits, I don't want this to be a whole year playthrough, because I started this back in August, and I only am now getting around to finishing it, so I'm just like, 
yeah, let's try to get it done sooner than later, because everybody has been waiting for me to get to the end, so we're going to be doing that, and uh, for Xenoblade at least, I've grinded to the point now where I feel like I'm comfortable just going through the rest of the game and not having to worry too much, which is good. But also, as you just saw there, I, I have changed around some of my characters to make them more optimal. So Peach is now our dedicated full uh, jump team jumping healer. Which What that basically means is that, yo, anytime that Peach does a team jump, She'll not only be able to clean people, and she'll be able to heal, but she'll be able to heal herself to, so she can use her uh, royal guard to protect more of my allies without having to worry. I apologize. I, I stopped talking because I have food that I'm eating. And you're maybe wondering, why wouldn't I eat before I do this? And it's just basically because, you know, I had other things I had to get done for today or talk and do, so. I was kind of like, uh, I kind of, this is kind of a last minute thing, but I should probably eat something. Unfortunately, Unfortunately and fortunately, the second, like, the second chapter's secret level is really short. I think I could have beaten this, like, halfway through chapter 3, if I really thought about doing it. But then, by the time I was almost finished chapter 3, and I remembered that we had the secret stage we had to do, I was like, screw it, I might as well just go ahead and, uh, you know... Might as well go ahead and just uh, start doing the deeds. Huh? And by deeds, I mean just go ahead and start doing all the secret chapters at once. So it can be at least less uh, confusing for people who want to know what I did for these chapters. <laughs> Unfortunately, I feel like I played better when I first recorded this. But, uh... It's too bad that, that it's lost to the ether because of bad recording stuff happening, so couldn't be helped. And unfortunately that guy didn't die, so then we have now we have to approach him for the next turn too, which is very unfortunate. Because a lot of our characters are gonna take damage because of his special ability that he's able to use every turn. Which is kind of ridiculous that he's able to use his foresight every turn, but at this point I'm like, I don't care. Even if he tried, he can't kill me. And it doesn't matter because I already have a file where I already finished with recording and has all my stuff grinded on it. But I'm just using the most optimal team that I used beforehand so I can get it done quicker. Without you guys having to watch me set it up, so. With that, we finished the secret chapter for World 2. We get a little bit of coinage and more power orbs. And then we continue on to the next stage. And you unlock golden weapons, but again, because I didn't do it immediately afterwards, they're not very good now. <laughs> like, if I did this immediately after beating World 2, they would be good for going into World 3. But unfortunately, I didn't think about doing that until literally this part, so... They're not very good for the point of the game. And again, we get more power orbs, and we get uh, music, I believe. No, it's an arc. Whatever. Uh, the giant fridge, which is always good. And uh, yeah, now we'll be sh I'm just showing off the weapons, and uh, I'm just going to quickly munch on some more of my food, and we'll be right back with uh, Chapter 3 and what's going what's to be the lowdown on that.
All right, so returning to Secret Swamp. So for this, I make a little cut here because I accidentally start with the wrong game. So if you're wondering why there was a random okay. cut there, uh, it was because I had did this part already and showed most of it on screen, but then I decided that when I was doing the second edit, that I was going to just cut it all out. Uh, but basically, what happens here, guys, is that I'm going to use Dash Tech to its fullest potential by using Rabbit Mario to dash, and same with Rabbit Yoshi, to dash into enemies and completely ruin their days by doing a lot of damage, a lot of guaranteed damage, and pretty much set everybody up for okie dokes when it comes time to, you know, end them. <laughs> you know, as you always do. But my commentary will pick up after this map, because that's basically all that I did for it. There's nothing really special. All there is is just a bunch of smashers to deal with, and just a lot of pie popping to get the most out of your mobility, and uh, yeah. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, section of the video, and I'll be back with commentary in just a little bit. So hold on tight for that.
Alright, alright. I'm back. I had to take my leave for a little bit. And plus, I probably re-edited that past section because I kinda messed it up and I didn't edit it correctly. But what you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm back. And now we're about to fight the mini-boss of World Chapter 3. And, uh, this stage gave me a lot of trouble in the first attempt, or attempt of recording this. Which, again, is lost to the ether because, you know, unfortunate scenarios happened, so now we don't have it anymore. But basically, you have to deal with Valkyries on both the high and the low, <laughs> the, both of the high ledges on both, either the left or the right. And uh, if you want to get the perfect on this, you have to beat it in, I think, four turns? Which sounds like a lot, but it really isn't, considering that you're getting gunned down by everything the whole time. And there's like, at least eight enemies on the screen at any given moment. And not to mention that you have to deal with boos! And remember what happened when you deal with those? If you're within one square of the boo, you are automatically going to be sent back to where you started. Just going to tell you that right now, because that is the thing that, if you do not know about the stage, you will get bodied. Like I did on the, my first attempt, where I was like, I wonder where the boos are going to send me. Are they going to send me straight to the boss? No, they're just going to send you straight back to where you began. And you can get ambushed by other enemies who randomly run into them. Which is really bad, but it's whatever. This stage, all in all, once you realize that you should focus on just going where the booths aren't, or where the enemies may run into them, so you can focus on getting to the mini boss, is usually your best chance of winning. But also, see those keelers in the middle? Make sure that you deal with them with the swiftness. I'm not joking, because these healers will be a pain in your behind later if you don't, so... That's my recommendation to you, the player. Also, my voice quality probably changed too, because I changed location from where it was too. Also, yes, thank you for asking, but yes, my meal was delicious. Thank you. So, I hope everybody's enjoying their uh, March break around this time. Also, no, I will not get hit by the boo from there, so that's why I chose to go there. But yeah, hope everybody's enjoying their March break. Today, and it is Tuesday for me, so I'm only... I'm almost halfway through it already. Now, see, I say halfway through it because I work... I work on the weekends, so Friday and Saturday I'm gonna lose, and I already made plans. And by the way, that was a really good strategy. To, uh, hit that dude because it not only aggroed, aggroed the dude who is uh, there. The boo aggroed my portable grenade, I forget what they call it, but anyways, and then it latches onto the closest thing because it was already latching onto that other dude, which is pretty good because now even if we don't kill him, hey! And now he has the boost stuck to him, so he's going to be sent back to spawn. Or our spawn. Uh, I forget if I try to do a double EO. Oh yeah, I kill him. Because crit. Oh, no crit. Never mind. I remember. <laughs> I got really unlucky, and I'm like, man, only me. I didn't get crit both times with both of them, and I got sad. The boo sends him back. And now, with Mario with his, his sights, we just gotta prepare. He used a lot of resources, unfortunately. Once that guy tried to bounce off of him. And that guy moved up. I wasted both my shots where I wanted to use it on the healer. But, you know, he at least didn't attack that turn, so we didn't have to worry about too much stuff damaging us this turn. Which is actually a lot better RNG than I thought I was going to get, but we also got frozen too, so that kind of negated the whole fact. So, with this, I used Luigi's double cleaning jump 
to clean me of my status elements and I kill the other opponent, I suppose. It'd be the most logical thing. After me, uh, I mean, after all, Luigi at this point can't hit the other uh, enemies, so I was just like, yeah, it's probably better for now if we just left them where they were. And I put on my sights just in case we can hit one later. But we can't. So at this point, I'm like, oh, I kind of need to kill one of those healers so I don't have to worry about them. Because if they don't die, then it's going to be a nuisance when we get to the mini-boss and they start healing him up a lot. And then I'll be very upset, so I was just like, whatever. We'll just waste, use our turns killing off one of them. There we go. And now we spend pretty much the rest of this turn setting up for uh, the confrontation with the enemy. You know, that one Xenoblade... Chronicles theme. You know the one. Anyways, whatever. And we end our turn because there's nothing more we can do. Now looking at the left side, that is really unfair, and the enemy also, if they tried to go up the pipe, they would get boo ban banished. Boo banished. Uh, at the end of their next turn, so... Fortunately, he was able to hit us, and Luigi's like, nah, you don't get to play. And then, at this point, we're like, alright, let's get, let's get the boop in. Go for the pipe, there you go, and that. Unfortunately, I couldn't reach that guy and fly it on him, because I would have killed him, guaranteed. But I was like, whatever, it's fine. We'll get our girl down here, and we'll start doing some damage. Fly. To the left, to the right. And bring him back now, y'all. And then I'm like, one bomb this time. But then I was like, yeah, well, I might not want to do it so close to me or all that. Collateral, collateral, collateral damage. No way for you to hide now, senor. Unfortunately, because I don't have any damage on Luigi's slide, I wasn't able to kill him. And wouldn't you believe it, Mario doesn't have enough movement to hit the dude either. So I was kind of upset, because I'm like, really? Really? So I decided that, uh, it might be good, just good to get Mario up there and doing damage. And I think this turn we actually kill him. Or if not, this turn, like, really early next turn. Because I remember we do a lot of damage. Like an absurd amount. So pipe. I didn't even bother sliding into him because I'm like, it doesn't matter. If we're not going to kill him with our slide, there's no point to waste the time and frames. So I'm just like, well, I won't bounce this turn. But I did, so it's okay. And I'm like, well, this is GG to the boss, because at this point he can't do anything to really protect himself, so... I save, I do that, and all the other enemies that are now over on their spawn aren't going to do anything, because they're not close enough to aggro us. And only the boss is going to attack. <laughs> Pushes himself out of bounds, which is really good. And, with that, we I now grab the last of the money, even though I don't need it for this file. But I'm still going to need it for some weapons that I'm going to do some gnarly stuff on the next part. So, I decided, yeah, I should still probably try to grab a little bit of coinage to go. And I'm like, alright, let's disrespect this dude. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I was going to do it. Raw damage. Raw. Jump off of him. I'm gonna power boost myself and then I'm gonna hammer him for the home run. Ooh, I got a crit. Yeah, this dude is not living these next two attacks. 
Yep, so I jumped on him. Jump up on it. Come on now, jump on it. And then I'm like, just to make sure. Also, I like how this mini boss uses the Rabbit Luigi sprite. I mean, Rabbit Yoshi sprite. Even. Because the cool thing about that boss, well, what I was trying to say before I confused myself, um, is that it uses the Rabbit Yoshi uh, model rather than the regular uh, rabbit model. Because if you if you have Rabbit Yoshi in your team when you're fighting that mini boss in particular, in particularly, it actually changes the sprite to a regular rabbit instead of a Yoshi rabbit. Which is interesting considering that you'll then show, still show him being captured even though you have him on your team. Which didn't make too much sense to me, but... I was like, uh, I guess. But now we gotta backtrack to go ahead and get that treasure that we missed before, so... Backtrack city, because it's fun to run back, and it's the fun to get more snacks, which are coins. So after walking all the way back, so what is our reward for walking all the way back? Uh, me forgetting how to get the, uh, get there. I was like, oh yeah, it wasn't that pipe, it was the one that we opened now that we finished the stage. Oops. Now, when we go for this pipe, it will take us to the treasure. Treasure, treasure. What's your pleasure? 20 more power orbs, which is great. And another 3D model. A phantom. Because, you know... I'm not going to make the joke for the 15th time. It's funny, the first few, but then it's not. <laughs> so I won't. But yeah, guys, that's basically the end of this part. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like the part, you can make sure to hit that lovely like button. Or don't do anything at all. That's fine with me. Because I'm as long as you guys are still viewing and enjoying yourself. We're going to be all good. But until next time, guys, I have been Maltai126789. I'll catch you lovely chows on the internet next time. So ciao, ciao until then, as we head on to the final chapter of the game, Chapter 4. Yeah, uh